Hi everyone, welcome to Snail Mail Surprises. I'm Miss Julia and today we're going to be making our pop out cards. For this project, you will need a card, so you're going to fold a piece of cardstock or a piece of your construction paper in half and cut it down so that it will fit inside of the envelope that you want to use. I've cut this one down to fit inside of one of the medium sized envelopes. You'll want some of your construction paper. You might want to choose the color of construction paper that you want to do based on the shape that you would like to make the pop up or the pop out part of your card. I'm going to make mine into a heart, so I chose pink. But if you maybe want to make a different shape like a circle to make it like a smiley face, or you want to maybe make yours into like a hedgehog and do a bunch of little spiky bits, you could use brown for that, but you can use whatever you would like to do for yours. You could also even use multiple colors. So if you wanted to make yours look like, say, um, a hot air balloon, you could use multiple different colors for that. But I'm just going to use pink for mine. You'll want your scissors. You'll want your glue stick. And you might want your pencil if you would like to trace out your design before you do your cutting. So you can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move a few things out of the way. And I'm just going to do a heart in this video, but I'll post a couple other examples in the classroom that you can look at for inspiration. It all uses the same technique. You just cut your paper a little bit differently. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn my one sheet of paper into four little sheets of paper so I can make them all the same shape and size. So what I'm going to do is do first a hamburger fold. So corner to corner, short edge to short edge, fold, then open. Then I'm going to do a hot dog fold. So corner to corner, long edge to long edge, fold. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut along these lines so that I have four pieces of paper that are the same size. The next thing I'm going to do is fold each of these pieces of paper in half. So they're like the big one, just little. So I'm gonna do four more little hamburger folds. So corner to corner, short edge to short edge, fold. Corner to corner, short edge to short edge, and fold. Corner to corner, short edge to short edge, and fold. Corner to corner, short edge to short edge, and fold. Then I'll use my pencil, and since I'm right-handed, I like to have my folded edge pointing towards my left. And then I'm going to sketch out a heart for mine. So I'll sketch out the heart shape that I want. And then I'm going to use my scissors and cut out this half of a heart shape. So that's kind of the shape of half a heart, and when I open it up, you can see there's the full heart. I'm going to fold this in half again and I'm going to use this and trace all of my hearts on my other papers so that they're all the same size. Make sure that you touch the folded edge to the folded edge while you're tracing. Remember, if you want to make yours a different shape, all you have to do is trace out that shape instead of the heart shape. So if you were doing a hot air balloon, you'd trace half a circle. If you were making like a hedgehog, you could cut out spiky shapes, or if you're making a smiley face, you could do half a circle. Then I'm going to use my scissors and cut on my line. So then I'll have 
four identical shapes. So all four of my hearts should be about the same. If they're not exactly the same, that's okay. It's a handmade card. So once I have all four, I'll put these pieces of paper to the side to recycle later. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to start attaching these together with my glue stick. So what I'm going to do is the folds are all going to end up kind of in the middle so that the, all the folded edges are touching. So do you see how all the fold edges are on the same side here? And we're going to glue together the different papers. So we'll start on one side and work our way across. So I have my paper here. It's folded with the fold here. I have another one and this one is this way. So both of my fold edges are touching right now. You can see fold the fold. I'm going to put glue here and here. So glue here and glue here. Try to kind of get to the edges too so that your papers stay together better. And then with my fold edges, I'll touch my fold edges. And then I'm going to take my fingers and press these together. And once you get them kind of stuck, then you can kind of move them around a little bit. Press, 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 press. Do you see how now I kind of have a 3D shape? That's a heart. So what I'm going to do is this 3D part, I'm folding it over. Then I'm going to take this part and fold it over here. So now I have a fold edge. There's two fold edges here. I'm going to do the same thing. Take a fold edge, make my whole heart glue. And then I'm going to pop up this part, pop up this part, touch my fold edges, and touch these together. And I'll use my fingers and press, press, press. And then one last time, press this down, press this down, all of my fold edges are together. Fold edge to fold edge, and glue. And then I'll open this up, press the glue part to the glue part, and carefully kind of press them together. This last bit here, we're going to leave that without any glue on it for right now. But you can see now, I have kind of a cool 3D heart shape here. So I like how that looks, that's cool. Now I'm gonna grab my card and open it. You can see there's a fold line here. And I am going to take this back side so you can see how it's sitting up like this. These are all the pieces of paper I've glued together already. So I'm going to flip it and kind of, doesn't matter, just pick two on one side, one on the other. Press it down. And this side here, I'm going to put glue all over it. Glue, glue, glue. And then I'm going to take this middle bit here that has all of our folded edges and it's going to sit here. So I can kind of bend this into a V to help me a little bit. I can even grab all these inside bits and I'm going to line up so that everything is kind of on that fold line. And I'll take this side that has glue, press it on this side of the card, and this side that has glue and press it on this side of the card. So press, press, press. And then you can see I now have a card that when I open it up, there's a 3D heart in there. And remember, you can make yours whatever shape you want. And you can go ahead and decorate the outside of your card, write a message to the person that you care about, or maybe draw them some extra pictures. And then you can send this to somebody that you care about. Well, I hope you enjoy making your pop out card and that whoever you send it to enjoys receiving it. Remember, if you'd like to share with their class, you can take a picture. And if your grown up says it's okay, you can post it in the classroom. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.